Hello, thank you for joining me today. This is Lena's Needle Crafts. I'm going to teach you the chain stitch. It's also called a foundation stitch. Just use a, a solid color thread and I'm using an H needle, H millimeter. Okay, and here's how to hold your needle. This is going to be a quick video just to show you the very basics. So let's get started. Okay, you hold your needle like a pencil. It goes back and forth. See that? And then you hold your thread. You go around your pinky, in your fingers, and around your forefinger. And then your thumb and your middle finger hold your thread. See how that is? Now when you start crochet, a lot of people say use a Slip knot. Well, I really don't like knots. Uh, anytime you use a, a knot uh, in weaving, for instance, my teacher would have a fit if you put a knot in her weaving or you did weaving with a knot. Uh, embroidery doesn't have any knots in it. You don't knot the end of the thread and then put it in your embroidery and start embroidering. Any type of needlework. They don't really use basically knots to get started. Uh, you know, a slip knot it's just where you uh, you just put it over and then you put your thread behind, behind it. And then you just take your needle and you take your needle. That's a slip knot. You've probably seen all this before. Uh, you know, you can take it and wrap it around twice on your on your uh, deal and uh, you just bring it through you cross it over and bring it up and that's your slip knot again but I don't use slip knots you can uh, a lot of the books say it they didn't used to in the olden days <laughs> but you know uh, that's the way it is. I just cross my thread over. I go in the 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 hall, the the loop, and I just under and over and bring it through, and then I turn it to the front, and that's my slip knot. And as you can see, it's very simple. Okay, well let's start our crocheting, and. Uh, We'll do it. A lot of men don't like to hold their needles like this. The ergonomic needles, they say it's too feminine. The ergonomic needles are kind of, a lot of people hold their needles like this. I'll do it like this once in a while if I'm tired, like doing a rug, heavy yarn, because your hands can get tired. Or I'll go do a different project, maybe knitting or something, because they use different muscles. Okay, here's the demonstration. I'm going to do it really, really, you go, you go under and over and through the loop under and over and through the loop I'll do it three times under and over and through the loop under and over and through the loops to grandmother's house we go I always think of that when I say this under and over and through the loop this is the way I crochet but I tell my granddaughters I use word association I'll say the rabbit goes under the fence and up over the hill and back through his hole to his den. The rabbit goes under the loop, back up over the hill, and then he comes back under to un, through the hole to his home, to his den. Okay, under, over, through the loop. Under, over. See how I'm keeping control? Also, I can find out when we start crocheting and doing other stitches, I'll be able to find them easy. I always keep my needle pointing down, under and over and through the loop, under and over, through the loop, under and over and through the loop. Just keep doing that for a while and keep practicing until it feels like second nature. It'll feel really comfortable after a while. And these are saving some steps. Uh, a lot of people are doing a lot of new steps in crochet, but 
it seems to be extra steps to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go. You just practice and practice and practice. And you have control. Uh, I had cataract surgery the other day, and I'm not looking out of my eye too good. I told the doctor to tell my husband I can't cook or do dishes. And my husband said, I'd do anything to get out of cooking and doing dishes. And I said, yeah, I'd rather crochet. <laughs> Here we go, under and over and through the loop. Under and over and through the loop. This is the chain stitch, a foundation stitch. A lot of crochet starts out with foundation stitches, and uh, but it's not the only way. You know, you have to do what the pattern says, and I'm going to adhere to mostly what the patterns tell you to do when I teach you to crochet under and over and through the loop. See, this is, see how this chain is made up? This is the front of the chain. You see how it's made up of bees? See there, it's made up of bees. That's your front. The back is made up of ridges right here. See how that is? Or bumps. And uh, as you can see, Crochet thread is thicker than when you're knitting. There's three. One, two, three threads that make up a whole chain. So it takes more thread when you crochet. During the uh, Industrial Revolution, uh, cotton became very prolific. The average man could buy all he wanted. And uh, that's when crochet really took off, was when there became a lot of uh, cotton thread. Took the place of lace making and uh, instead of using those real small needles and and uh, doing a hundred thread can't size, people went to uh, to this size. Now don't be afraid to rip it out, or they call that frogging. Rip it, rip it. If you have a a big, say a big a big stitch here, you can rip it out. See. It just rips out. Each stitch is separate from each other. It's not like knitting where they're kind of connected to a bunch of loops. So you just rip it out and start over. I've been known to rip my work out two or three times when I'm starting a project because sometimes your hands are cold or your rhythm's not very good. Uh, you know, you just have to work it a little bit just to get, get going. Under and over and through the loop. Now say you want to count stitches. I don't do it as I go along because I like to get it done and I'm pretty fast. And if I stopped every 25 stitches, I'd, I'd be doing it a lot longer. But say you would count like 25 stitches. Like when I'm done doing it, say I'll do 100 around. And then I'll start counting. One, two, you know, and I might count 25 stitches and then say I'll put my my stitch marker in the 25th stitch. And then I'll go 25 more stitches. That's a good way to keep track in case you lose your place because a lot of times you do, especially if you're watching TV or listening to music. Okay, under and over and through the loop. So I hope you liked my video today. And be sure and practice, practice, and practice, and make it feel comfortable. Uh, be sure and hold your yarn with your thumb and your 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 third finger and and you, your finger on top, and keep track, keep control. You know, under and over and through the loop. And be sure and give me a like and subscribe, and tell me what you like and what you didn't like. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer for you. Next, I'll be doing a magic ring, and this is Lena's Needlecraft saying goodbye for now. Happy crocheting.